And we're starting with breaking news at this hour. A plane that took off from Brooklyn Field just this morning crashing in Illinois. And according to FAA records, the man who owns that plane lives on the eastern shore. At least four people, including a toddler, pulled from the wreckage near Waterloo, Illinois. That is south of St. Louis. Important to note here, we don't yet know who was on the plane. But as we mentioned, we do know the plane that crashed is owned by a man who lives in Fairhope. We know the man's name and his profession. We also know that he has relatives in the St. Louis area, but out of an abundance of caution, we just aren't saying his name. Now this is aerial footage of the crash coming to us from our sister station in St. Louis KMOV. Again, the small plane crashing near Waterloo just before three o'clock this afternoon. According to reports, at least four people were on that plane, including a toddler. All had to be extricated out of the passenger seats. Reportedly, there were significant injuries. We're also told medical choppers took some of the victims to the hospital. This is a picture of the plane that crashed. It's a 1976 Piper fixed wing single engine plane, again registered to an owner in Fairhope. At this time, it is still unclear who was flying the plane. This is, of course, a breaking story. What we do know is a plane that took off from Brooklyn this morning crashed outside of Waterloo, Waterloo, Illinois. That's outside St. Louis this afternoon. At least four people were on board. They were all injured. We'll continue to follow the story and bring you the latest on air and online at Fox10TV.com.